AS3X system has a unique option and then it allows you to set two types of failsafe. And uh, either of these types of failsafe can be set for any channel. So you have a preset failsafe and you have a hold failsafe. Preset failsafe means that if you have a loss of signal, that, that control surface will be driven to a preset failsafe position. Hold last position means that if you have loss of signal, that surface will maintain the last known position. Of course, when the signal recovers, you'll immediately gain control. But those are the two types of fail-safes that are available. And as I mentioned, the screen that we have um, available here shows that you can set either the preset or hold for any or all of the channels. And in fact, you can mix them up. For an airplane like, uh, like the Yak, it's, it's very common to have preset fail-safe on throttle. And in fact, we would highly recommend it on throttle because if you lose signal, you want the airplane to throttle back. Um, all the other channels, it's pretty typical to have hold last command. That way the airplane continues doing what, it's, uh, what it was previously doing. If you were going to set this up on a sailplane, however, it's a real good idea to have preset fail safe, for example, on the rudder and on the elevator. Imagine you're thermaling really high, you have a uh, loss of signal, and the airplane just continues to go in its same you know, direction, it'll end up flying away. So with sailplanes, you'll want to have, hold, have a preset on the elevator rudder so that the airplane will descend, come down. Aerobatic airplanes like this, or any gas or glow powered airplane, you always want to have preset on throttle, and you want to set it to low throttle. And other, uh, the other surfaces, generally, you'll have it set up on hold. This also allows you to set up the gear channel. So, um, you know, wherever you're going to have your gear plugged in, if you have a retractable gear, uh, some guys like to have the gear go down automatically. Um, that's an indicator that you have a loss of signal, um, but the choice is yours. Now, in order to store those preset fail safe positions, that occurs just like with any spectrum system, that occurs during the bind process. So now we're going to go ahead and bind the system uh, like you normally would with the intention of using preset on throttle only. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I actually have an extension. This extension exits the front of the airplane, so it's very easy, but this actually plugs into the bind programming port. I'm going to go ahead and put a bind plug in here. I have a battery in place. Notice the propeller is no longer on the airplane, so it's safe. I'm going to go ahead and turn the system on. And of course, the receiver now, I take for granted that it's flashing. Yep, the receiver's flashing telling me I'm in bind mode. I'm going to push and hold the bind button, and I'm going to hold the throttle at low throttle. I'm going to leave everything else at neutral, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. Binding. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry. Bind complete. So when the system binds, and in fact, any time you turn the system on, there's a bump. It's called an initialization bump, initialization bump. So when the system initializes, all the surfaces will move about 30% of its total travel, um, indicating that it's ready to go. So you'll see here that everything is now working, driving the throttle, and I've just bound the system. Now, the, um, everything was set to hold, so let me show you how this works. If I have a little bit of throttle in here, and if I have some ailerons and elevator, and if I turn the transmitter off, you're gonna see I just lost signal. The throttle turns off because it's set to preset failsafe. However, all the other surfaces went to a um, hold last command position. Let me go ahead and change that and let me show you what happens here. Remember that I bound everything with the servos in the middle position. So the preset hold positions for all the other servos are in a middle position. Let me go ahead and Turn off, power back up, receiver connected, okay, so let me go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so now, keep in mind that I had uh, the, everything was set to neutral position for preset. Now, even though I said it before, I can go in here and let me do my ailerons are port two and port six. Now, those have been set to preset fail safe position. Take a look at the upper right hand corner in the screen. See the exclamation mark? 
What that means is it hasn't been written to flash yet, so it's not stored in the receiver. I need to get out of this screen, then you'll see it's solid. I can go back to this screen. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to throttle up, and I'm going to move the ailerons to the right, and I'm going to turn the transmitter off, which represents loss of signal. Transmitter off. See what happens? These go back to the preset failsafe position, which was at neutral. We throttled back, and of course, the elevator and the rudder held last command. That's how failsafe beha behavior works. It's real easy to set up. Most important point I can tell you here is be sure that if you have a throttle in your airplane, be absolutely sure that failsafe is set to off so that if you lose signal, it turns the motor off or kills the engine.